Today is day 15 of my ramen challenge and I'm going to attempt to make ramen shrimp tacos using these Wei Wei noodles. I'm going to blitz a package in half and use them to make the tortilla portion. I have to give a shout out to Maz, M-A-H-S for commenting this suggestion. I'm going to use some for the tortilla and save some of it for later. I've got some shrimp that I'm seasoning with the oil and ramen seasoning packet. Putting that in the fridge and then now it's time to make the flour tortillas. I'm using Matt's recipe for this and replacing a portion of the flour with the ramen dust. It's also time to break in my food scale which I'm excited to do. There was 48 grams of the ramen dust, so I decided to cut Matt's recipe by a third. So after using a calculator and notepad, I measured out 113 grams of flour. This part took longer than expected. Also, his recipe calls for bacon fat or whatever fat. My whatever fat is some wagyu I rendered out last week when I had extra pieces from the sando. Measured out 21 grams of that, and then I needed 58 grams of water. I was just getting ready to measure that out when I remembered I had just googled the conversion, and it's one gram to one milliliter. <laughs> Why was I about to measure that? This is the second time I'm using the stand mixer. The first time I used it, it started smoking, so I haven't used it since. Hopefully that won't happen this time. Flour, ramen dust, wagyu fat, warm water, and some salt. Then I attached the mixer and had some fun trying to make sure the thing was attached. Ah! Apparently, it's smart to secure the bowl. It was finally time to get mixing. After five minutes, it was still pretty crumbly, so I decided to add about 50 milliliters more of warm water. Then mixed it for a few more minutes, and it looked a lot better. More like the dough that was in Matt's video, but yellower. More yellow. Yellow. Is yellow a word? You can see some of the ramen bits in there. It builds character, you know? With the ramen dust I saved from earlier, I'm going to bread the seasoned shrimp. This idea came to me after how well the ramen did on the Wagyu Sando when I fried it. While the oil was heating up, I chopped up some red onion and jalapeno, added salt, pepper, and lime juice. Thought this would be a good topping for the taco. Then I got to frying the shrimp. It was looking great, but I wanted it to be more breaded. Seemed like some came off as I dropped it in, so I dropped it back in the ramen dust. By the way, if you have a better name for ramen dust, please let me know. I coated them and then dropped them back in the oil. I don't know if the double breading helped, but it looked good to me. Back to the tortillas, I divided them into six small balls. Then I floured my counter, and maybe too much, but I wanted to play it safe after my beef wellington incident. Maybe this was too much. Roll, turn, roll, and repeat. I tried to copy Matt's instructions exactly so I wouldn't mess them up. And so far, so good. I'm actually surprised things are going so well, but the real test is when I cook them. I don't know why, but I love all the ramen bits in them. A little tap for good luck, and here we go. I heated up my carbon steel skillet to medium high heat and added some of the wagyu fat I had left over. Moment of truth, guys. Here we go. I took a little peek and... Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Yo! I don't know if you can tell, but I was really happy. I mean, it's not often that things work out for me when I randomly throw things together. I cooked up a couple of more tortillas and then cooked up the rest of the noodles I had. While I was waiting for the water to boil, I decided to try one of the flour tortillas. I added some butter to it and oh man, it was good. Warm, fresh ramen flour tortilla doesn't get much better than that. I mean, it probably can, but this hit the spot. I finished cooking the noodles and then it was finally time to assemble the ramen tacos. Tortillas, noodles, shrimp, and yes, I'm going to eat the shrimp tails. They're nice and crispy. Then added the red onion and jalapeno. I was more than ready to take a bite of this. All this work put into it, was it worth it? 100% yes. So many simple flavors and textures working together. Wow. That was amazing. Then I dipped it in the ramen broth since it sounded like it would go well together. Okay, that was a bad idea, but still. This is so good. This is by far my favorite day so far, taste and method wise. Like now I know how to make flour tortillas, minus the ramen if I ever need to. On the last taco, I added a line of QP mayo and sriracha. 20 out of 10, I would make these again. What do you think I should do for day 16? 